In today's video, I'm going to show you the most common signs that your shampoo is not working on your hair. In fact, it is actually ruining. So if you have two or more of these signs, you'll know your shampoo is bad news. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and let's begin with the first common sign in your shampoo is ruining your hair is constant dry itchy scalp. If you wash your hair and your scalp always feels over cleansed, feels dry and gets super itchy, especially closer to your next hair wash, then this could be a sign in your shampoo is the problem. Shampoo is what you need to clean your hair properly but also can be the main cause of scalp sensitivity for many people due to the harsh cleansers or surfactants and many shampoos. Some of these ingredients can wash away the natural oils or the scalp natural acidity which is what protects the skin leaving your scalp exposed to dryness and irritation and more and more often. So in this case what you can do is to monitor how many times this happens. So if the fourth time you wash your hair and the problem persists, it's time to find a new shampoo. Preferably find one that is labeled sulfur free to reduce dryness and flakiness. Also, avoiding synthetic fragrances in your shampoo can help to reduce irritation on sensitive scalp. And look for pH balanced shampoos as well, which is going to help in keeping the scalp environment in more healthy conditions. The next sign your shampoo is ruining your hair is sudden hair fall. Let's be clear, hair shedding in the shower is absolutely normal. As long as it is between 50 to 150 hair strands a day, you don't have to worry about it. Unless you spot excessive hair shedding and with this thinning on the hair or even bald spots, then we need to take action. Hair fall due to shampoo, a lot of the times it doesn't happen in the first wash. It develops over time and it can happen when you introduce a new shampoo because one or more than two ingredients are irritating your scalp or it can even trigger with your old shampoo due to the changes in your body so what was working before it doesn't do it anymore so changing shampoo is a good idea if this is happening so here's a trick a simple way to know if your shampoo is the root of your excessive hair shedding or there is something else triggering so for this you need to switch to a gentle shampoo use it about five to six washes and if your hair shedding gets reduced, chances are it is the current shampoo you're using and you need to avoid it immediately. And if you don't see changes, then you can try with another shampoo, but if you're still having the same problem, chances are it can be something else and for that you need to go check with your doctor. The next noticeable sign that your shampoo is ruining your hair is brittle hair. If after washing your hair with shampoo, the texture of your strands feel rough to the touch, they look dry, dull, and brittle, even when you use conditioner or a hair mask after, chances are your shampoo is not only removing dirt, it's also absorbing all the moisture out of your hair. When your shampoo washes away the natural oils on your hair, it leaves your hair more susceptible to breakage. When you brush it or even when you run your fingers through, However, before discarding your shampoo, there are a few mistakes that it can lead you to think your shampoo is a problem, but sometimes it's not. So first, make sure you're not overusing shampoo or shampoo in the ends of your hair because these mistakes can cause dryness and breakage over time. So remember, in every wash, clean your scalp only and use this amount of shampoo. Another important thing to do is to rinse your shampoo out of your hair completely because if you don't, you can totally dry out and make your hair look crunchy. If you make these changes and you don't see positive results in the first or second wash, then you need a new shampoo that is more gentle and it does not contain ingredients like alcohol, silicone, or protein. Especially if your hair is low porosity, protein buildup can lead to hair that feels stiff and breaks easily, so keep that in mind. If after conditioning your hair, your hair immediately feels matted, tangled, or it's unmanageable, that is a sign that your shampoo is ruining your hair. Your ends are not supposed to be extremely tangled after conditioning. It should be fairly easy to brush them after, so if this is not your case and your hair is extremely tangled and not easy to brush through after shower, this could be a sign that your shampoo is stripping the pH level of your hair. The natural moisture and pH in your hair prevents strength from 
sticking together. And when you use the wrong shampoo, the matted in the hair happens because the cuticle of your hair is lifted. So the texture of your strands become dry and rough over time, which results in a manageable dry hair. So the best thing you can do here is to use a pH balanced shampoo that is sulfate free and it's also meant for hydrating and moisturizing your hair so that you can recover the strands and get them back to its more natural texture. While some shampoos can over dry your scalp, others can cause you extremely oily roots, which is another common sign that your shampoo might be ruining your hair. After every wash, your roots should feel very fresh and super clean because that's what shampoo is meant to do. But if you recently wash your hair and your scalp always feels as if it hasn't been washed at all or it feels way down post shower, even worse, the roots get greasy or feel waxy after a couple hours of washing your hair, then the shampoo you're using might have a lot of conditioner or silicone in it, which could be too heavy ingredients for your particular hair type and it's causing you oily roots. So in this case, what you can do is to add to your hair wash routine a clarifying shampoo once a week to help it to remove all product buildup. You can also switch to a lightweight moisture shampoo. And also a good practice is to make sure to avoid applying conditioner near the roots because sometimes this could be the reason why why your roots are getting greasy and it has nothing to do with your shampoo. So I'm gonna give you another tip because you're a cutie cutie pie. <laughs> So when I introduce a new shampoo, what I try to do is only use that shampoo and my conditioner or hair mask and that's it. I normally test a new shampoo about four washes. Read a long time ago, the four washes, it kind of determine if a shampoo is going to work on your hair or it's not. Before I decide if it's good for me, if it's suitable or not. And then from there, I started to monitor what kind of changes I see in my hair. If I see positive changes, if I see negative changes, if it makes my hair dry, if it makes my hair itchy if I start to see some hair falls and I normally do that for four washes just to determine if I'm gonna keep the shampoo or if I'm gonna stop using it that's the first step that I try to do the second thing is that I avoid oiling I avoid applying any type of scalp product I try to avoid the other regular things that I use on my hair that I trust and I love and I know they work with the new product. And that is a little bit more easy to determine if a shampoo is working or not on you because that's the only new thing you're introducing into your routine. I do that with basically whatever product that I put on my scalp because I'm trying to be very careful with my scalp and you should too. I just started a new shampoo and it was not doing great to my hair. Like my ends were suffering in that video. And I knew right away that that shampoo was not for me because I never wake up with ends like that. Like my ends were completely bent as you can see in the video and I was just like my god that's so bad my scalp was feeling so itchy and like so irritated I couldn't go one more day just say sayonara to that shampoo and that's it <laughs> like I'm not using it this is why I make this video so that you guys have more knowledge and you can tell these kind of things I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll get to see you in the next video, put